Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and if you're just joining us, we are in the middle of the small space series. Make sure you check out my previous videos on big ideas for your small living rooms and small outdoor spaces. Today we'll be talking about my top eight design tips to implement into your small bathroom. The goal is to make your small bathroom feel bigger, brighter, more functional, more stylish, and downright fabulous. If you're looking for small bathroom ideas that will make the whole space feel bigger, this video is for you. Raise your hand if you have a teeny tiny bathroom in your home that needs a complete major makeover. You guys might remember from late last year, I was desperate for a makeover in my guest bathroom. I had been living with these ugly black and white checker tiles that are lining the entire wall for as long as I've lived in here. I really just took the time and dived right into this DIY makeover that you can check out on the channel now, and I have never been happier. I mean, we're slowly starting to phase out of quarantine right now and COVID restrictions are lifted, which means we're having more friends and family come over. But aside from that guest bathroom, I have another teeny tiny bathroom in my home. It's actually in my husband's home office, but we share a walkway because it's on the way to my walk-in closet. So every day I have to walk past this itty bitty ugly bathroom and I just thought, you know what, it's really time for a makeover. I started pulling some inspiration online and that is how I came up for the inspiration for this video. I just found so many cool design tips and tricks that have been implemented in small bathrooms and these are the tips that I want to share with you. Without further ado, here are the best ways to turn your powder bathroom, half baths, tub shower combos, and those windowless bathrooms into uber fabulously designed spaces. The first step is to understand scale in relation to the size of your bathroom. Toilets need a minimum of 36 inch clearance, which means when you're seated on the toilet, you will need 18 inches of clearance on the left and 18 inches of clearance on the right. Once you have that space allotted, then you can play around with the footprint of the bathroom and specify the right vanity for a powder room or tub shower combo for a small full bath. Opt for leggy fixtures like pedestal sinks or vanities with legs so they lift off of the floor and allow for more visibility into the small space. Floating vanities are also an option to make the small bathroom look larger. There really is no minimum measurement for a sink. This is your home, your needs. You figure out the way you want it to function. If all you have room for is a tiny vessel sink or a wall mounted sink, then go for it. A functional powder room only needs two things, a sink and a toilet. Everything else is a bonus. Once you understand the minimum allowances you have in the bathroom for fixed needs, like the toilet and the sink, you can then start playing around with finishes, colors, and pattern to make the small bathroom feel bigger.
While we're on the topic of fixtures, always choose a wall-mounted faucet to free up countertop space. There's a domino effect when you choose a wall-mounted faucet. You can source a smaller sink, use less countertop material, and the countertop can actually be more shallow in depth. You've shaved off a good three or four inches from the countertop with a wall-mounted faucet. This look is stylish, modern, and bonus points for being super easy to clean since gravity will help water drip down and not collect on the countertop like a deck-mounted faucet would. If you specify a deck-mounted faucet, choose a faucet with a single lever versus two separate handles to free up even more countertop space. Let's talk about how to use color in your small bathroom to make it look larger. The goal here is to keep it very low contrast. Keep the color palette light, bright, and airy, or deep, dark, and moody. Light walls, light fixtures, and light finishes add brightness to the space. If you love color, opt for a lighter tone like sky blue versus a darker royal blue. Breezy lightweight window treatments add to the feeling of an airy open space. On the flip side, dark walls add depth and creates the illusion of a larger space. Dark colors are perfect for windowless bathrooms when it's already very dark in the space. High gloss paint reflects light and helps to bounce it around on all of the surfaces. Remember that dark and moody doesn't have to be all black. It can be just as dramatic with patterned wallpaper, rich woods, and low lighting. I love this look for a small moody powder room. If you choose dark walls, remember the importance of a fabulous light fixture. Let's talk about shower doors and the right ones to specify for your small bathroom. My preference is frameless glass doors. You could have a fixed panel on one side with a frameless glass door on the other. Or you can simply have a fixed panel and remove the door completely. This allows you to have full access to the shower. Remember that no doors require a slope drain maybe one eighth to one quarter inches more than the recommended slope. If you have a tub shower combo, get rid of those builder grade sliding doors. Not only does this add bulk to the room, it's not that functional. You can only access one side at a time, think sliding closet doors, and the extra metal frame to hold it all in place adds visual weight to the room when you want it to feel light, bright, and airy. You can nix the sliders completely and add a tension rod with a shower curtain that you can pull all the way to one side instead. Mm -hmm. 
Another trick to making small bathrooms look larger is by sourcing large scale pattern wallpaper or a mural. The larger the pattern, the larger the space will actually feel. Smaller patterns can visually clutter a small space. Unless the pattern is tone on tone and doesn't have much contrast, then the small pattern can have the illusion of a solid color. If you fall in love with a busier pattern, consider adding wainscoting to the bottom half of the walls. Paint it bright white and layer with the chosen wallpaper up top. You will raise the visual weight of the room and still provide the visual impact you crave from wallpaper. This next tip is all about those tile tricks. It's a two-parter where I'll be talking about floor tile and wall tile. A trick to make your small bathroom appear larger is to tile all of the walls, from the floor to the ceiling. Tiling all the walls gives small spaces a big wow factor. If you're worried about wetness penetrating wallpaper, think about investing in wall-to-wall -wall tile instead. You can use any type of tile for the project. You can specify floor tile, tiny shower pan mosaics. Don't relegate your search to just wall tile. Another budget conscious and renter friendly option is to use peel and stick wall tile that looks like full mosaic sheets instead. Moving on to tile on the floors. If you want your small bathroom to appear larger, extend the floor tile right into the shower. Since there are no flooring transitions, this will draw the eye into the whole space and make the whole room feel larger. The same rule applies to extending floor tile to the shower. Make sure your shower pan is sloped with proper drainage that runs away from the opening of the shower stall if you go for this look. If you don't have a shower but a tub instead, run the floor tile up on the tub face for a seamless look. Another tip to make your small bathroom appear larger is to mirror the entire length of a wall. The reflection will help visually expand space and double the impact of color or pattern in the space. If you don't have a window, the mirror acts like a window, furthering the effect that light has in the room. Make sure you specify the largest mirror that fits the wall or custom cut a mirror to install. I love the look of stone or tile on the bottom half of the bathroom and a full mirror on the upper half of one wall. Remember not to mirror all of the walls. The Hall of Mirrors effect is dizzying. You lose the impact, not to mention that it's bad feng shui with all of that energy bouncing back and forth. Use a ledge or a deck to create more space. A narrow ledge along the entire length of the bathroom is the perfect spot to place a mirror, toiletries, 
candles, and bathroom essentials. With one simple move, you just doubled your surface storage space. This tip is borrowed from my years designing hotel suites. Long ledges look sleek and modern. Granted, they're only used for daily essentials and not all of your Costco toiletries back stock. If you have bottles and tubes scattered all over the countertops, it's guaranteed to distract you and clutter the space. Use closed storage, such as a linen closet or a vanity with drawers and doors to keep things neatly tucked away. These small bathroom ideas are really about making the most of what you've got. I want to show you that bold design elements can make the hugest impact in the tiniest of rooms. The lack of square footage, plus no windows, plus builder grade blah fixtures can make a small bathroom one of the more challenging spaces to design because there's not a whole lot to it. But that's exactly why you should rise up to the challenge and let this itty bitty bathroom become the showpiece of the entire home. When you get it right, the whole room can seem brighter, more spacious, more inspiring, and it might just be the catalyst to help you get your entire home on an elevated wavelength. Remember to always start by measuring your space. Understand the clearances involved, the function that you need for the room, and plan accordingly. If you like this type of content and you've been enjoying the small space series so far, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any issues when it comes to space planning, I am all ears. Let me know in the comments below and I'll give you my best design advice. Share this small space series with anyone struggling to design their small space. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.